wrong layer again. I think that I should take a break and find something to eat. No, Jedi. You must finish this first instead of taking a break or you'll be too late for the deadline. Ugh! This is really stressing the heck out of me. I can't continue if I am distressed with what I am doing. You know what? I'll eat some kikiams na lang from Kuya Manong outside. That would surely help calm If my character only knew how to draw itself, this would have been very easy. Jedi's been so stressed about drawing me, as you can see. He asked us to tomorrow, but he still hasn't finished even a quarter of his project. By the way, hi, I am Toon. A character made by Jedi. I don't know what he was thinking about why he created a cactus with colorful brows, golden horns, together with these terracotta pants. Like, seriously. Thank God that he scrapped the idea of adding a tail on me. <laughs> Anyway, I am here to introduce you to the fantastical world of entertainment and multimedia computing program. Welcome to Animare! Jedi entered this program and majored in digital animation technology because he wants to be an animator in the future. There is this other program major called game development where students are taught how to develop a game, obviously. They differ in a sense that GDs focus more on the programming and structural aspect of the project, whereas the DAT students focus on the visuals and story. He is not that good in drawing at first, but he did improve with practice and an unreasonable amount of crying at night. Let's start in this area. Can you see these sketches he had made? Whoa! They often begin on creating ideas for their characters through imaginative sketches. Sketches are rough drawings that are used to assist the artist on how their concepts would look like. They can be lines, random shapes, or even doodles, which are then colored and polished. I know that there are some of you who may have wondered on how artists draw complex arts using a mouse only, right? But most of the time, it is not done by a mouse only. This is what they call a stylus. It is often accompanied by a graphic tablet, which can be just a flat device like this that is connected to a computer where you can draw on it like a trackpad. It can also be equipped with a display where you directly draw on it like a tablet device. Different artists have different ways on how they create animation and art. There are various ways on how you can render an output. For example, artists can make 2D animations like this. Traditionally, drawn animations are hand-drawn frames tapped and compiled to emulate movement. This is called pixel animation. Animators use squares that are called pixels with different colors to create the details of an object. It is famously used on gaming consoles and video games in different ways. Stop motion animation uses an actual physical model of a character such as clay that is adjusted and captured on each frame to simulate movement when compiled. Since I showed you these different types of animations, I might as well show you the different art styles that various artists use. Art style is essentially how an artist depicts a subject matter by displaying how they vision it. The features that identify the artwork, such as the artist's use of form, color, and composition, determine style. Like these artworks by various BSEMC students from CICP. As you can see, there are a number of art styles in the world. You don't have to be too bothered if your work doesn't look like what your idol or friend creates. Art is objective, and you can use art to express who you are and what you are, so feel free to be different. If you're entertained with what I have shown you, there's more for you to see inside my world. So come with me and let me welcome you to Animari. In this digital realm, the real magic happens. The school provides every student a capability of making everything that they can think of using these necessary software. 
Starting from the basic software that is used by almost everyone, the Adobe Photoshop. Photoshop provides the user with the power to produce, improve, or otherwise alter photos, artwork, and graphic illustrations with the different tools available in the software. You can consider Photoshop as a magic wand that can magically alter anything with a simple flutter of your hands. Right now, we're inside the blender. Ah! Get me out of here! I am not talking about this type of blender! Phew, whew, that was close. Neither of us wanted the cactus to be a smoothie, right? <laughs> anyway, this is Blender, a free and open source 3D creation suite that supports the entirety of the 3D pipeline. Modeling, rigging, animation, simulation, rendering, compositing, and motion tracking. Think of anything 3D? Blender is here for you. We must be fully geared up when entering this area. And we should be wary of the dragons and odd creatures we may encounter. This is Unreal Engine. So, Unreal Engine is the world's most open and advanced real-time 3D creation tool for photoreal visuals and immersive experiences. It is a complete suite of creation tools for game development and other real-time applications. It is a more complex software, but with all its capabilities, it is very worth it to master. If you're thinking, why should you consider the BSEMC as a course for college? Um... I think having a program consisting of 99 characters would be an awesome thing to brag about, right? Kidding aside, I think that you should consider this program if you want to pursue the field of digital arts and entertainment. If you know how to create drawings both digitally and traditionally, and you want to bring them into life, Choose this course. Even if you don't know how to draw, you can still learn a lot here as this not only opens the avenues that focus on drawing, because you can also be successful on 3D modeling and graphic designing as well. You cannot think that you will fail in the digital field as we are already experiencing the digitalization of almost every aspect of our lives. We can expect that in the near future, the career opportunities that the BSEMC program will open for you will be brimming and successful. <sighs> what an adventure, right? I am very exhausted with all of what happened. But you know what? Being exhausted is also nice, as it proves the amount of effort that you had exerted to reach this point. Just like Teddy. How he often complains about almost everything on this course, but he continues on doing all those tasks and backlogs that he has because he knows that all these stressors are what hones him for the future. But still, I will really appreciate it if he stops whining all the time. It may not look like it, but I do have ears, you know. 